Oh, starting off CNC break number 13,680, we've got the mixed break. Should be a good one. Joel Edmondson for the Carolina Hurricanes. And a red of Schadenkirk for the Rangers. Those packs did not turn out to be too good. Like I said, I always scout out uh, in the afternoons to see if there's any auctions ending uh, that shouldn't be ending early. Nine, five young guns for the Dallas Stars, Brendan Dillon. Brendan Dillon. Nine young guns of Brendan Smith for the Red Wings. Brendan Smith, graded nine young guns. And a 9-5 rookie resume gold rainbow to 99, Max Domi for the Coyotes. Max Domi, 9-5. All right. Synergy. We're getting close to 14. I'm trying to think. What are we at now? 700 something? It'll be probably about a month or so away. So it'll be uh, probably end of March. It could be our Mega Monster for end of March, to be honest. Remember Contours? I do. We got a Patrick Wah red for the Montreal Canadiens. Rookie blue for the blues of Barbashev for the blues. I said like nine times. And McDavid for the Oilers. Exceptional talent. We've got a Gillies for the Calgary Flames red. We've got an Adrian Kempe for the LA Kings uh, blue. And a newcomers of the Rangers Heedle. For the Flyers, Giroux red. We've got number to 56 impact players, Daniel Sedin. Impact players, Daniel Sedin. And we've got an impact players of Atkinson for the Jackets. Um, I didn't like the first year. Dubnik for the Wild. I do like it this year, and I did like it last year. Zykov autograph for the Canes. My biggest gripe with uh, Synergy, and one of the things I recommend to Dupper Deck, is make the price point cheaper. Nylander for the Buffalo Sabres, as this is a perfect kids product, in my opinion. I don't mean only kids collect it, but price point wise. Burns for the Sharks. I believe if this hit the shelf at $69 or $79, it would have been more than fine. Uh, green of Dallas Stars, Jamie Ben, And Islanders, Mike Bossy, Impact Players. Hedo for the Rangers. We got a Domi Red for the Coyotes. Exceptional talent of Tyson Jost for the Avalanche. Uh, just buy up items that you don't really know. Yeah, glad we got that quite a bit. Yamamoto for the Oilers. We get people buying up a lot of stuff right now. They have no idea what they're buying. Blue for the Boston Bruins of Bork. Atkin or Wheeler for the Jets. Impact. For the Winnipeg Jets, Jack Ross Levick. Red. Matthews Blue for the Leafs. Career spanning Hashik. Um, in terms of the mystery boxes, right now all of them are built towards group breaks, but. We are trying to do one that is going to be more group break and in store uh, for you guys very, very, very shortly. But it's on my list of many things to get done. But I'm hoping I can have that done realistically, middle of March, properly, ready to go, done. If, if everything goes uh, perfect, which it never does, but might as well aim for it. Shooting Stars Red of Carter Hart for the Philadelphia Flyers. Base. 
Infinity was the best, yeah. I, I agree with that. Joachim Nygaard for the Oilers, Young Guns. Infinity just takes a lot to build, though, I think. Canvas of Malkin for the Penguins. People just didn't realize how much that took uh, to build. Pup card box, yeah, I know. The problem is, though, Chris, the box is, uh, is going to be a tough one now. Stall for the Wild. Young Guns, Ottawa Senators, Vitaly Abramov. Base. And base. So. Uh, what do you mean? What showcase? We got a Dante Fabro for the Preds. For the Anaheim Ducks, Max Jones Glossy. And a Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Ducks. That's the other thing is the boxes wouldn't work because the prices are too high to do it. When I was able to average out some like $100 boxes, pretty much there's no $100 boxes anymore. And if they are, in my honest opinion, they would not be an infinity. And I, I'm very against making things just for the sake of making it. If I make something, it's got to be... Very good fair value for everybody involved. So, boxes would be my new brute right now. It would be tough. But never say never. Never say never. Dazzlers of Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Bo Dev for the Hawks Young Guns. Portraits of Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Base. And just so you guys know, after this, I have to have a little snack. A little food snack, so I will be about two minutes after this break. Matthews Canvas for the Leafs. Can't go too long without a little snacky. Young Guns, Morgan Geeky. Oh, those? Oh, I would rather... Well, I would rather do 15, 16, 16, 17 because it's Matthews McDavid. I think that automatically trumps anything else, but it's near impossible to find those, so... Portrait of Dubois for the Jackets. We've got a Morgan Geeky for the Canes. Velarde Gold for the Kings. And a Velarde Regular for the Kings. I think in all honesty, I know the prices are absolutely ridiculous, but anything Matthews McDavid year that you can buy, or even McKinnon year, I would jump on those... Again, I'm telling you guys the direction the hobby is going, you will just never see those boxes again. And I know I try to, so I know sometimes I, I sound like a broken record, but imagine if you had an opportunity right now to open a little brawn rookie box. That is what McDavid will be for hockey. So these boxes, number one, are not going to get cheaper, and they're not going to get any easier to find. Young Guns of Zagadulin for the Calgary Flames. And as the market continues to progress and get bigger and better, it's going to be harder and harder to get these guys. So, like, I do recommend anyone who wants to honestly... Got a box of prison for 100 bucks last week. Portraits of Shabbat for the Auto Senators. Even that's a funny purchase. Like, I'm not saying that rudely to you, but... Make Michael for the caps. That box is sitting around for the longest time. And now all of a sudden just spikes. Mitch Marner Dazzlers for the Maple Leafs. I I'm just saying, Kyle, like, yeah, even the opportunity. Timothy Little Jerkin for the Maple Leafs.
Canvas of line A for the Jets. Because I honestly, I remember seeing this with um, with LeBron. Is I remember in the beginning, people were like, I'm not paying those prices. It's ridiculous. Like a year after those boxes came out. It's ridiculous. I'm not paying that. Larmy Young Guns for the uh, for the Penguins. And then you look at it now and go, you know how much those boxes are worth. Yamamoto for the Oilers and every single one of those people back in the day who passed up on it would 100,000% say yes right now. Yep. Young Guns, Carolina Hurricanes, Morgan Geeky. Base. So, again, just my honest recommendation, whether you want to buy it, like, and sit on it or open it. Trey Seidel for the Oilers. I just think it's going to be one of those things uh, down the road that just having that, like, Honestly, think about this, guys. There's a 1516 cup case on classic auctions. Baudin for the Hawks. When a cup case like that, a three tin cup case, is already on a classic auctions website. Garland for the Coyotes. Canvas. It's going to show you 1516 cup is pretty much all but depleted. So to find a sealed case, number one, is absolutely insane. And that's a three tin case. That's not even a sixer. So what is a sixer going to go for? Portrait of Logan Couture for the Sharks. Velarde Young Guns for the LA Kings. <clears throat> Young Guns Canvas, Nick Robertson. What's that uh, case at now? The 8,000 US? Roughly. In base. Anyone doesn't mind looking that bad boy up. Game jersey, Braden Holpe for the Caps. So I, I just honestly expect as McDavid keeps doing McDavid things that the prices are just going to get absolutely insane. Like, uh, Kyle, I don't think so, honestly. Current bid, 7,800. Yeah, plus 20%, right? I don't think there's much of that left. We've got a red rookie of Conacher, number to 100 for the Sens. And we've got number to 100, Slideshow, Bo Bennett. Like, I'm not going to lie, guys. I I'll happily tell you guys certain things when uh, when it gets to certain points. But, like, our, for me to buy that right now is $5,000. I don't know if I can get a sealed case of it. It could just be a single tin. We've got a uh, Alexiak for the Dallas Stars. And a Jersey Auto Ben Street for the Calgary Flames. So you got to think, if I could get a sealed case, that is $30,000. <laughs> and that's my cost. We've got a red of Brendan Smith to 100 for the Red Wings. We've got a Gallagher for the Habs. Autograph rookie of Truba for the Winnipeg Jets. Truba. And for the Anaheim Ducks, number to 50, Corey Perry. The problem is, Jeff, and I'll tell you about holding uh, products. It's not necessarily, sorry, it's not a problem. Is at what point do you sell them, right? Because the thing is, if you told me a year ago, we've got a blue number to 10, Patrick Sharp. Hawks, Patrick Sharp. We've got a National Predator, Seth Jones, rookie. Galchenyuk for the Montreal Canadiens rookie roll call. And this was a sick pack. An Epics jersey, Patrick Waugh. If you told me a year ago that I could sell these for $2,500 a box, I would have been like, that's absolutely asinine. And the problem is, what you do 
And there's a story. You go, you know what? That's good money. I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna put some up there. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Then it goes up like three. Oh, I gotta sell more, right? Because that's even more asinine. And the problem is, that is why it's so scarce to find. Like, people knew LeBron James was gonna be one of the best. People knew uh, McDavid was gonna be one of the best. Why is it it only took five years for 90% of the product to be completely wiped out? SP Essentials for the Anaheim Ducks, John Gibson. Like, we have very little Series 1, 15, 16 left. Like, very little. And I had to rebuy that. Shesterkin for the Rangers. And I look at it and go, 949. Man, that's a lot of money. But the thing is, in two years, I would not be shocked if that's a $2,000 box. Seth Jones red for the Blue Jackets. So, moments of Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins. Series 1, Kyle. Yes, 15-16. Moments of Lungfist for the Rangers. Like, I'm not going to lie, guys. When Series 1 got to 6 dollars this year, I thought that was ridiculously high. Vegas Golden Knights, Chandler Stevenson. So, the problem is you just never know when that new high is going to be. Essentials for the Vancouver Canucks. Brock Besser. We've got a base auto. Andre Sveshnikov. But Jeff, here's the main reason why though. <clears throat> Why would you do that when I can almost guarantee you it's going to go up a significant amount of money? Right now, boxes are proving to be actually one of the better investments you can get into and safest investments you can get into. Moment of carry price for the Habs. Because you literally could have bought Series 1. Patrick Kane for the Hawks about four months ago for $6.99. And right now they're selling for about 900 to 950. SPS Centros of Crosby for the Penguins. It literally is, I would say easy money, but it just keeps going up. Duncan Keith, red for the Hawks. So I don't, I wouldn't, uh, I would honestly say it's a better invest, investment right now. For the Blues, Clem Costin. But here's the thing, Fergie. If the market crashes, what product is going to be out there? There's not enough of it out there. It's not like this is an industry where there's massive quantity. Cam Atkinson for the Jackets. The issue is every single day, more and more product gets open, thus less and less products in the marketplace. Logan Couture for the Sharks, red. And we've got a 100 Justin Falk exclusives. And that's the thing, like, at a certain point, you will be one of the last people to have that said product. Sean Monahan Spectrum for the Calgary Flames, which is a premium no matter how you put it. Spectrum FX of Koivula for the Islanders. And we got Alinas Olmark for the Buffalo Sabres. Like, that's the thing is, I've had some silver, no word of a lie, for about 16 years. I've probably made, like, $6 higher than spot price for holding something for 16 years. If you held anything from 5-6, Crosby year, anything from any of those years in between it, you're making mo way more money than you would have on silver. Because the thing is, there's only a finite amount of boxes. That's the biggest difference. We've got a rookie redemption. Tampa Bay Lightning. Rookie redemption. Don't buy silver yet. We've got for the Oilers, a 175, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Uh, Jeff, the benefit of buying the medium players is if they ever turn into good players. Like the Dre Seidel's, Pasternak's, etc. Like that, right? 
Legendary or Legacy Relics Salani for the Anaheim Ducks. That's where you can make... Look at 14, 15 stuff. That stuff was on discount bins for at least two years. And now that stuff is 10 times value. For the Avalanche, 149 dual jersey rookie auto. Martin Cott. I honestly do think there'll be some pullback, Jeff, but here's my honest opinion. I don't think that'll be for several years. And not even with that being said, I just don't think there'll be enough product for anyone to worry about it. Oilers rookie redemption. Look how fast synergy went in and out. Look how fast series one is going to be in and out. There just won't be enough product down the road. Dual jersey to 175, Seth Jones. Like, to give you guys perspective, a fun perspective, 0506 Upper Deck Ice got cleared out at discount prices because they produced so much of it. 599 Josh Norris for the Auto Centers. I would love to know what the last 56 Crosby Ice Box sold for. And those got dumped. Hardcore. So. And an auto fax of Nicholas Delorier for the Anaheim Ducks. So my point is, at the end of the day, since everything is so limited in our hobby, it'll never ever really free fall. Because it just can't. Because eventually, people will buy it. It'll go up. Again, that's just my opinion. For the Flyers, 299, Carson Twarinski. Philadelphia, Carson Twarinski. For the Hawks, to 299, Boakvist. Um, I would look on uh, on eBay, Sylvester. Boakvist. Box like that where you don't have massive potential, not to be rude. Might not be going crazy. Number to 99, Trent Frederick. But I bet you they're still going more for what they than they were. Oh, buying boxes to open. Yes. Eight feet. I agree with you there. And for the Buffalo Sabres, Olafson. If you're buying, in my honest opinion, guys, and I'm not trying to deter my own sales, if you're buying 15, 16 Series 1 at 950 bucks and just opening it, you got a lot of money just to have fun. I don't know why you would not just buy the McDavid at that point, but you have a lot of money to have fun. But I would be on anything 15, 16, 16, 17, just buying it. I'd be sitting on it as long as you guys could. Paid five bucks each. Wow, that's crazy, Sylvester. We've got number to 27. Four color patch auto. Jerome Aginla. Love these patches. Jerome Aginla to 27. Perfect. And now I'm going to do the random for the uh, box giveaway. So give me one second. Right there. The only thing is, 8 Feet is actually not a pain in the butt to sell a box if you're one of the only people who have that box. Any big store will take it in. Like, I buy boxes all the time for people. So. All right, give me one second, folks. This is for a Series 1 box. Good luck. Here we go. Three times. Series 1 box. Over lands on top. Gets it. One, two, three. Alan Zhang with the Rangers. Congrats. 